Hi everyone, this is Soso, and welcome to the official launch of Lost Ark. I have been having so much fun with my friends playing the Head Start, but I saw that many people were confused on what to do after they reached the threshold of level 50. Today, I wanted to make a short guide on what you need to do at 50 to help you start out with doing dailies and weeklies. Let's get started. Following the storyline should take you to the continent of Vern. In Vern Castle, continuing the quests will allow you to unlock the Chaos Dungeons and Una's tasks. Press J to check your guide quest list and look for the quest that allows you to unlock Guardian Raids. These three tasks will be your dailies, allowing you to collect enhancement materials for honing your gear. During the process of going through the city quests, there will be a suggestion to go to Trixion to get your awakening quest from Beatrice. Press F2 to get to your song list, and go to Trixion to accept your awakening quest. And following the quest line will allow you to unlock stronger skills and awakening skill. Awakening skills cost shards of chaos, which you can buy from general merchants in most big cities. Afterwards, go ahead and head into the Chaos Dungeon. Chaos Dungeons are basically waves of mobs that you must kill and purify to complete. After running it twice, you should have a full set of 302 T1 gear. Find the gear honing NPC by looking for the hammer icon on the map. Use the maps you currently have to hone your gear. Reaching the item level of 340 will allow you to take on the next level of Chaos Dungeons and Guardian Raids, so keep that in mind as your future goal. Now, you should focus on preparing your character for the raid. Press K to find your skill settings. I suggest having two skill builds, one for Chaos Dungeons focusing on AoE, and one for Guardian Raids focusing on single target damage. You can swap between skill presets and choose based on the content you are attempting. Before stepping into the first Guardian Raid or nil, you should prepare your battle items. Guardian Raids will not allow you to use your regular potions, and also limit the use of battle potions. Make sure you take potions that will restore at least 30% or more of your health. The next item you should take is the Flare. When used, the Flare will mark on your map where the boss currently is. The rule of thumb is that the number one party member will use it when you first spawn in, and then when the boss disappears, the number two party member will use it next. If you don't have the flare, your party will have to run around the map in search of the boss, so it is easier for the future if you get in the habit of taking the flare with you. You have three lives shared between your party members, so keep that in mind and try to be more careful with deaths. When you've cleared the raid, make sure to press on the soul to harvest it before you leave, as you will not get the rewards without it. Press Alt-J to open up your Anus tasks. These are easy dailies that can give you rewards, and I suggest choosing the ones that give you leap stones first. You can filter the tasks by the rewards, so searching for what you need is easy. You should also accept the weeklies from the same window, and you can accept guild quests through the next tab. If you haven't already, I suggest you join a guild. Even if you don't like social settings, being in a guild will benefit you greatly. After joining a guild, pressing Alt and U to open your guild window will check you in for some Silmel Bloodstones, which you can use at the Bloodstone Exchange Shop to trade in for enhancement materials. Donating will net you some more Bloodstones, and will also give your guild resources. You should do both these actions daily. For the people who have royal crystals, I recommend that you buy the level 50 complete pack that is selling for 1100 royal crystals. You will receive 2600 purple crystals in return, which you can use to buy the boat skin Hermita's Song. This will let you use your fast sailing automatically when autopath making your sea sailing activities much easier and faster. After finishing the Vern quest, you'll receive a power pass to fast level another character. Having other characters at 50 will allow you to run dailies and weeklies with them to collect more enhancing materials. I suggest you pull these materials to level your favorite class and make it your main character. 
Currently, you will receive one power pass after your first character makes it through North Fern, and you will receive another one after your power pass character finishes through a series of quests for a total of two power passes. Afterwards, it is up to you on what you want to do. You can continue to raise your item level and challenge more difficult content. You can continue and finish all the story quests, or go back and work on your adventurous tome for roster levels. There are tons of things to do in Arkesia, so explore to your heart's content. That's it for today's video. I hope it gave you a better idea on how to proceed after you hit level 50. If you have any questions about specific dailies or gear enhancements, check out my other videos or join my Discord. Like and subscribe for more content, and thanks for watching.